In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We gather this morning in the midst of this cold and dreary day to bring light and love into our world. As we begin our liturgy, let's pause for just a few moments and reflect on how God has gifted us so generously and as God has continued to call us to be men and women for others. Lord Jesus, you raise us up to your own image. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, help us to be your hands and heart in our world. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, may we continue to follow you no matter where you lead us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. Set our hearts aflame, O Lord, with the spirit of charity, we pray, that we may always think thoughts worthy and pleasing to your majesty. We love you sincerely in our brothers and sisters. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscating of your property knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay. But my just one shall live by faith, and if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your, you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, Father. to little ones the 
mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his crowds, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And the seed would sprout and grow, he knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use? It's like a mustard seed that is sown in the ground. In the, it is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. But once it's sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts out the largest branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. One of my favorite titles for Jesus is Jesus the Master Teacher. And certainly in today's gospel, we have an example of Jesus being that master teacher, of instructing the faithful into what the kingdom of God is like. As a teacher myself, I often felt that I was planting seeds in students. And sometimes those seeds wouldn't reach fruition until many, many years later. And I know all of you who are teachers out there can resonate with me on that experience that many years after a student has left your classroom, you get a letter or a note or a card from them expressing the profound influence you've had or how you helped them or how you helped them see who they were and the light and the love that they had. And those cards are very meaningful. Those cards show that our seeds that we do plant can yield a great harvest, a large tree in which others are able to partake. I think of that because so often when we look at this parable, we think of Jesus as the one who's planting that mustard seed. And I think we have it just slightly askew that it's really us who are planting those seeds. And where do we get the seeds from our faith and belief and love in Jesus Christ? And we take those seeds and we plant it and hope that those seeds bear great fruit, hope that those seeds sprout to an enormous tree. So even in the midst of the rain and even in the midst of all that's going on, we're still called to plant seeds to build up the kingdom of God. We're still called not for momentary gratification, but for long-term gratification. The gratification of knowing that the kingdom of God is meant to be spread. It's meant to grow. It's meant to love others. So I encourage you when possible today is to plant a seed to plant a seed in someone else, to plant a seed by showing them support and love and making sure that that seed is well nourished with your love. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord and pray for those things that we need. 
Let us pray, first of all, for all the teachers in our lives who planted the seeds of faith, the seeds of knowledge, the seeds of how to be good human beings. We ask God to bless them no matter where they are, and to that he may shower forth his love upon them. So for all the teachers in our lives during this coming Catholic Schools Week especially, we pray to the Lord. We pray also for all those who are homeless today, for all those who continue to suffer in the cold and the wet and the damp, who know not a dry spot. We pray especially those who died in the windstorms this week and ask God to take them and cherish them solely unto himself. So for this, we pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for our country. We continue to pray that it may be a beacon in the world of democracy, that it may lead others to truth and freedom. So for this, we pray to the Lord. We pray also for our church. We pray for our Pope who's ailing with a bit of sciatica and ask God to ease his pain as the church continues to flourish and continue to be that mustard seed that sprouts so strongly. So for this, we pray to the Lord. We remember the repose of the soul of Mark Mensenovic, for whom we're offering this liturgy. We pray for Mark. We pray especially for those who miss him, who mourn him, who remember him that the love and light he shone forth upon them may never be forgotten. So for Mark, we pray to the Lord. Let's spend a moment adding our own prayer in silence. Lord God, we come before you with these prayers and these needs. We come before you as having heard your word and listening to the parables of your life and applying them to our own. Help us to grow fully into these plants and trees and, and bushes that you have planted already within us by answering these prayers which are made in your name, you who live and reign forever and ever. And let us pray that these, our gifts and our sacrifices, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father Almighty. Sanctify these gifts in your mercy, O Lord, in accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice. Grant, we pray, that we may extend your charity to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For death, it is his death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, and with we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending forth your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to be betrayed, he entered willingly to, to his passion. He took the bread, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, loving God, this life-giving bread and this chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Hybe, our Bishop, and all those who serve you. Remember your servant, Mark, for whom you've called forth from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all those who have died in your mercy, and we ask you to welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Ignatius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sins and protect us from all distress as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, my peace I leave with you, my peace is my gift to you. Look not upon our sins and failings, but upon the faith and love of this community here gathered before you. And grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And in your own bubbles, wish each other a great sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. For truly, this is the Lamb of God, this is the one who has come to take away our sins, and happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, that we are worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be saved.
Pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, on those you have replenished with the one bread of heaven. And refresh us, we pray, with the delights of perfect charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let us go in peace to praise, to love, and to serve the Lord our God. <laughs>